we had been, I don't know if you want to use the word broken up, we, we were casually dating, but uh, we've been broken up for probably two years. I had already moved back and he contacted me from jail. I don't know how he found me, how he got my number, how he got a hold of me, but he had called from jail and we talked a handful of times on the phone and I remember telling him I can't afford these collect calls. I gave him my mailing address at that point and he wrote me a couple of letters. First of all, he told me that he had been arrested for bouncing checks and that the police were was basically keeping him in jail for racial profiling because this was then post 9-11. When I first read one of your articles, like the first time I came across it, it never crossed my mind that it wasn't true. Because <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, he was kind of sketchy. <laughs> like, that was kind of my thought. <laughs> I didn't think he was that sketchy, but yeah, it, it never really crossed my mind that none of it was true. My roommates at the time thought he was a little sketchy too, but they the main reason they thought he was sketchy is because he would sell DVDs out of the back of his van, like bootleg DVDs. So they were always like, oh my gosh, what are you doing dating this guy who sells bootleg DVDs out of the back of his van? <laughs> little did I know that there was so much more to this. One of my roommates from when I lived in Colorado, we still are friends, we were talking about exes on the phone one day. And she asked me whatever happened to the Egyptian guy. I was like, I don't know, I should Google him. And the first thing that popped up was one of your rat in a cage articles. Then I was like, oh my God. I was on the phone with her when it like pulled up, freaked out and started reading it out loud to her and then emailed it to her and had commented on your article that, you know, oh my gosh, I dated this guy 20 years ago.